what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel today we're just gonna sit down and do a chatty get ready with me so nothing fancy nothing formal i have some new products that i want to test out i have the new uh tinted moisturizer and concealer from cover fx that i ordered i have a couple of the new shades of the patrick tall blushes i've got setting spray we've got some things that we're still testing out so i just want to talk i've got a couple of things on my mind some things for the channel and i thought that we could just sit down and chat so let me go ahead and get my hair out of my face and we'll jump into this. Alright y'all, so my skin is all prepped and ready to go. I have on all my skincare, I have on my SPF. We're going to jump into primer. I'm just going to go in with the One Size Secure the Glow primer right here that I've really been enjoying. Um, but I wanted to kind of chat about some ideas that I have for my channel. So I know that we all enjoy seeing what's new, what's come out, how it works, how it performs, but I still love my old makeup. I still love everything that I have in my collection. So I was thinking that maybe once or twice a month, we could sit down and do like a shop my stash type video where I just go through, pick out a full face of makeup from my collection and just put it on our face. Um, real quick, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place. What is this called? I can't remember. The Skin Enhancer. The one that I forgot in my last video like this. But I have the shade 9.5. It is the lightest one. This looks a little yellowy, but we're going to try it out. Ooh, I don't know about that. But from what I understand, this can be used either like alone as like a tinted glow base or you can just use it under your foundation and we're going to use it under foundation today but um where is my sponge hold please found it okay so what i was saying was i just want to pick out some makeup and sit down together and put it on sorry my dog is she hears something she's ready to bark but I want to help find the love in your old makeup that I feel like so much makeup comes out and it's so quick that something that we were really excited about like not even a year ago is now left to the wayside and everybody just kind of moves on and forgets about it and I know as somebody who was just a longtime viewer I always thought oh well I guess that that palette that I love so much just you know i need the new next best thing and you kind of get caught in this rut but i want to bring back the love of products that you already have give you some inspiration help you shop your stash show you that you don't absolutely need to buy the new thing unless you want to of course like i mean i always love to try the new next best thing but i understand it's hard to keep up with and it can be very discouraging that actually looks really pretty. I'm impressed. Is it a perfect shade match for me? No, it's not. It's a little yellowy. It's just a little bit dark, but I think if I were to go in with like powder and stuff, it would be okay. But we're gonna put foundation on it over anyways. So let's move on to that really quick and then I'll get back to my train of thought. So I did pick up the new Cover FX radiant start tinted moisturizer right here i got the shade one the lightest one that they had and i want to check it out it's been years since i've tried anything from cover fx so that's what we're gonna do oh she's glowy can you see that can you see that kind of like pearlescent glow in that this might be really really glowy y'all um but anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Is that something that y'all are interested in seeing? Do you want to watch like older makeup? Do you want to see looks with that? I would love to know. Also, I am working on a 
collection video, a makeup collection video. Um, I did have one request for it and I love watching collection videos, declutter videos, things like that. I just, I'm curious. I want to know what other people have in their collection. Um, I do have a larger makeup collection. It's not huge, obviously. I'm just beginning my YouTube journey, but I've always had a large collection. I just love it. I've always had an abundance of things, but, um, just keep in mind, it's not, it's not overwhelmingly huge. Like it is for your daily consumer, but it's not compared to other people here on YouTube. But I thought it would be fun to kind of show you what I have. It's not going to be a declutter video at all because everything in my collection I did purchase myself. But just to kind of show you what I have and kind of tie that into the shop my stash video if there's a product in there that you're like oh use that or I want to see how that works or show me some looks with that palette definitely do that as well so I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of how I want to do the shop my stash videos but we are glowy <laughs> I don't know if I needed that glowy base underneath, but y'all. <laughs> okay. We're, we're going to powder this. Don't worry. But um, <coughs> we are glowy. This is almost like a glow booster tinted moisturizer in one. This says this dewy radiant tinted moisturizer helps even out tone while nourishing and replenishing moisture loss. Suitable for all skin types, light coverage. After applying primer, blend tinted moisturizer onto face using fingertips, a face brush, or a makeup sponge. So that's glowy. We are we are glowy. We are looking a little little sweaty, a little little too much but let's go ahead and pop over to the concealer before we powder this down so this is the cover fx skin Decep skin discovered long wear concealer and i did get the shade f1 which i'm assuming stands for fair one and this is what the component looks like right here this is supposed to be a full coverage uh, concealer from what i understand we're gonna pop some of this on okay that's a pretty pretty shade it does feel very lightweight like very serum feeling okay I can get on board with that I hope I didn't put on too much but back to what I was saying um, yeah let me know what your thoughts are if you have any ideas on that do you want me to like pick out a bunch of products and put some polls up and y'all can vote on it or maybe pick out a bunch and have y'all vote on just the eyeshadow palette that we use um or maybe you could just vote on the eyeshadow palette and i can create a look around that let me know what you think um but i'm excited about it i think it's gonna be fun i think it's gonna be something different and um, like I said, I want to give some inspiration to love your collection, to love what you have. But that looks really pretty. I do like that concealer. That looks pretty. Um, I will be doing a wear test with this foundation and concealer to see how they wear. And I will be using, um, obviously, the same products that I know and love that I use for most of them. So we'll see what this does without a glowy base on underneath. But I do think that this looks really pretty. It is, like I said, very glowy. But it covered nicely. It is definitely heavier on the light coverage end. So it's not like light coverage in the sense of of like this one or this one from Chanel or even the or even the Chantecai like these are super light coverage but it is it's a little bit more than that so I will give it that like I do have some redness peeking through but not nearly as much as I would with those but let's powder this face let's move on and powder this face so for this I'm just gonna go in with my lunar beauty Luna 
Lunar Beauty Lunar Versal Setting Powder. Gosh, the play on words with that one is intense. But I have really been enjoying, ooh, really been enjoying this powder. It, um, I think it's one of those, if you really like pack it on, it can give you a full on matte look and really help control your oil. But if you go in with just a lighter layer, I guess would be the word, um, it does kind of tone everything down, but I don't feel so matte where I feel like my skin is dehydrated and I don't like my skin to feel dehydrated, but look at how beautiful that powder is under the eye. Like I don't usually go for a loose powder under my eye and this one's just beautiful. It is so incredibly finely milled. Like it's an incredible powder, but that is kind of the idea that I have for my channel. So nothing crazy, nothing like, oh, big changes are coming or anything like that. I just, I want to make content that is not only fun and enjoyable for me, but fun and enjoyable for you, the viewer as well. Like, I know that there's been several times that I have gotten on YouTube and been like, oh, I want to see somebody use this or somebody use this and you can't find it or if you do, it's like three years old and makeup styles change, trends change, all of that changes. So let me know what you think. But yeah, we're going to be glowy. Um, my littlest dog, my little dachshund, he has a vet appointment this afternoon um i don't think it's gonna be anything crazy it's he's got very 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 thin hair on his back and i don't know if he's got like some form of alopecia or if he's just you know that's a genetic thing so we're gonna go to the vet and we're gonna find out he's also only two and a half he will be three in June so he's a little young for hair loss as well so hopefully everything will be okay uh, I'm fine either way I just want to make sure that it's not something going on that can be treated or like an infection or anything like that so we are going to find out I can keep y'all posted if you want me to, but yeah. So, also, have any of y'all been watching Love is Blind? <laughs> y'all, so I'm, I'm not a huge reality TV show person. Like, I'm just not. I used to watch some of the shows back in the day. Like, I absolutely loved, um, the Simple Life with Paris Hilton. I loved it. It was, <laughs> it was so fun. But I loved that and I used to watch the Kardashians back in the day before it got scripted and out of control. And what else did I watch? I watched like the real world and stuff like that. But I've never really been big into like the love shows. Um, for my bronzer, I'm just going to go in with let me turn this this one right here from natasha denona i'm still playing with this palette deciding my full feelings on it but we're gonna go ahead and go in with the two lightest shades of this one but anyways um i'm not a huge reality show person i did watch the first season of love is blind because i was curious i wanted to know i enjoy watching a good shit show but anyways, I only watched the first season. I think this is like the fifth one or something like that. And it's been all over my TikTok. Is it just me? I'm sure it's been all over everybody's TikTok. I think everybody by now knows about Chelsea and knows about Jimmy. But I had no intention on watching it. And all of that started popping up. And my best friend has been watching it. And she was like, this season's actually really good. It's juicy. It's like it's a bigger shit show than the other ones so when I saw all of the stuff on TikTok about Jimmy and Chelsea the whole Megan Fox thing I was like okay we're gonna watch this season we're gonna see what this is about I know it's 
to me it's ridiculous but that's my opinion so i started watching it a few nights ago and y'all why aren't they talking about the other people on this show because it is ridiculous this is grabbing and i think it's because we are so so glowy like i probably should have done more powder than i did but it's okay i don't think the vet's gonna care yeah we're a little patchy a little grabby but anyways so i started watching it and i don't think everybody is like awful on the show i do think that there are some people on there that are actually coming from like a genuine place but i hate jimmy i do not like him i think he is awful i think he's horrible um i completely understood spoilers if you haven't watched it spoilers right here you might want to mute this but i completely understood where jessica was coming from like he strung her along and chelsea knew what she was doing she knew exactly what she was doing by saying i'm told i look like megan fox ma'am like you're pretty you're pretty but you do not look like megan fox like no ma'am uh-uh no no uh-uh absolutely not I don't see it. I don't see it at all. She knew what she was doing and the disappointment on Jimmy's face, which is what everybody was talking about, is so incredibly hilarious to me because the minute he saw her when those doors opened, he had this look on his face like, I thought Megan Fox was going to come out here. But the way that he keeps telling her like, I do love you. I am happy. I'm like, who are you trying to convince? yourself or her okay so for the patrick ta blushes i did pick up two of the shades i picked up um just enough and not too much i have never tried these before so not only are we checking out new shades but for me we're checking out a new product so let me open these up because we are going to do this the patrick ta way but um so this one is just enough and this is the bright pink shade i think this is beautiful i don't think this is gonna go with what i'm doing today because i am going to use the natasha denona mini trio chrome palette i picked this up with that hyper is it the hyper natural palette and i don't think that this is gonna go i think that's gonna be too like i don't know Mary Kay vibes. Anyway, I do think this is beautiful, but I think we're gonna go with the not too much. So this shade, however, this is beautiful. I'm excited about this. Okay, so we're going to start with the powder blush. Yes, so that's what he says to do. We're gonna start with the powder blush. So I'm going to pick this up. That is not the brush that I wanted. This is the brush that I wanted. So I am going to, hopefully if it's clean, yes it is, pick this up with a Singe F06 brush right here. And we're going to put this on the cheek. That's pretty. I like how it has that little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not like a flat matte. Oh, I need to keep that flip down. So I need to keep, um, so it's got just a little bit of a sheen and that is beautiful on its own. So we're gonna do both sides of the powder and then I wanna go over it with the cream and do like a comparison and then I'll even it out, of course. But, um, so yeah, I'm watching this and I'm listening to him tell her all that, like, I love you, I love you, I'm happy, like, we're having such a great time, I'm so, so happy, and I'm going, buddy, you're trying real hard to convince yourself, aren't you? Because, yeah, mm -mm. you haven't even told her she's beautiful, you haven't even told her anything, and she's like, what's the first thing you noticed about me? And he's like, your teeth. Bro, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Your teeth? That's the best that you could come up with in that moment. And then you told her her boobs. 
like where is the oh it was your smile or your eyes or just you're just so beautiful is everything like come on now so yeah I just uh, a part of me really wanted him to end up alone but then the other part of me is like they're perfect for each other they're perfect they're both like gaslighting and catfishing each other um, okay, we're gonna go in with the cream now. So this is what we look like with just the powder. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I like it, but let's try this cream out. So we're gonna go in, if this is a clean brush, I need to clean my brushes. I'm usually really good about cleaning them every week and I just didn't, I did not feel 100%. So we're gonna go in with the cream shade right here with a Singe Beauty F01. So I, I wanna feel this first. Ooh, okay. That is very creamy. I'm not a cream blush person, I'm not. But everybody rants and raves about these, about how amazing they are. So we're here to try this out. So I have it on my brush and okay. Oh, these are pretty. That is really pretty. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so mad that I haven't tried these sooner. These are beautiful. I like this. So here we go. This is with the cream over the top right here. Can you see that? And then this is just the powder over here. Um, my, my cheek does not feel sticky at all it does it's drying down to a powder so if you've never tried these before and you're curious they are not sticky but this is a beautiful formula this is really really not are we surprised no it's just me you know being stubborn and hard-headed we're gonna put a little bit on the nose I like to bridge it across here I know that's like it's a trendy thing, but I like it. I really like to have that little bit of pink across there, but this shade is beautiful. Okay, let's quit gushing. Let's move on to, um, we're gonna do eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick, prime my eyes, and we'll be back. Okay, so my brows are on, my eyes are primed. I did go in with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base right here. But we're gonna play with the Trio Chrome palette here, the, the mini Trio Chrome palette, I'm sorry. I know this came out end of last year, but I never picked it up. And whenever I was on the website ordering this palette right here, I went ahead and picked up this one because I do really like it. I think it's beautiful and I wanna try it out. So. Um, I'm just going to kind of point at the colors as we use them and continue to talk, but I will link and list everything down below per usual. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I am going to start with this blue right here. There we go. Pat out those little creases. So what do y'all think of the whole love is blind thing? What do y'all think of Jimmy and Chelsea? Um, yeah, I think, I think she's dumb too. Like, oh, what was her name that she, the, the bodybuilder with the mullet that was just, oh, he was so incredibly sweet, but she broke his heart and him and Jessica, I felt that for them. Like he was a hundred percent right. This is not the most pigmented shade, I will give it that. But um, he was 100% right when he told her, you know, you're gonna pick a man who couldn't decide between you and another girl instead of the guy who knew it was you all along. I was like, y'all, that is something from like a rom-com. Like it just, I'm not a big person for like romance and gushy, but when he told her that, I was like, Bravo. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. She, I think she would have gone for whoever proposed first, honestly. I really do. I'm having a lot of patching with this color and I don't know why. I like the Natasha Denona formula, but this one, I don't know. I'm getting patching. Like I'm really working hard on this. 
But anyways, I... That hurt me. That really did hurt me for him because, you know, listening to his story about everybody thinks that he's just a meathead that knows nothing and he's clearly not. Like, he was super sweet. The mullet would have to go. Like, I'm sorry. I... Ugh, I can't. When I was doing hair full time, I w refused to cut a mullet. I did one and I hated it. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. Like, the mullet needs to stay back in the 80s and 90s. Like, it was gone for a reason. But anyways, um, yeah, so that whole little, I don't even know what you call that anymore. It's not even a love triangle at this point. It's like, yeah, like I said, a part of me really wanted Jimmy to be alone. But then at the same time, I'm like, y'all deserve each other. You're perfect for each other. The other disappointment was Matthew and A.D. Like, oh, he crushed her. And you can tell that Clay is her number two. I'm sorry. You can tell that she was all about Matthew. And let's be honest, Matthew, first impression, he's an a-hole. He truly is. Like, he, he came into that first room and was like, I have a list of questions, 1 through 15. And then she was like, well, what about you? And he's like, well, I hadn't prepared on answering these. I was just asking him. And I thought, whoa, dude, really? Okay, I can't blend this anymore. This is as good as we're going to get. It's a little patchy. It's not, it looks pretty, it's a, it's a full on Monet. It looks okay from far away, but up close, can you see how it's just, it's patching up. It's not going on evenly. Like this is not, I have several Natasha Denona palettes and mini palettes that I love and this one so far is not it. But so anyways, I really, really did not like Matthew from the get go. I might regret this, but we're going to go in with this color. But I felt like AD brought out something in him and just kind of like she melted his heart and like brought out the best side of him like do i have any gray's anatomy fans here because it reminds me of alex from gray's anatomy like we all hated him let's be honest he was an a-hole he was rude nobody liked him but then joe came along and you fell in love with Alex. You absolutely fell in love with him. And then he turned around and broke our hearts when he left her for Izzy without any kind of explanation. And that's how I feel about the whole Matthew thing. This color is better. This color is actually going on really nice. I like the pigmentation. We're not patching. We're not grabbing. We're not doing anything. So this color is nice. But this color, where am I? This color right here. Yeah, I have baby blues that perform better. But anyways, so, but I just feel like you can tell, like one, she was devastated when he told her that he didn't want to be with her. And I don't know why. I felt like they had such a connection. I don't know if I fell asleep or drifted off or whatever. I kind of have it on when I'm editing videos, so I may have missed something, but yeah, like, and for AD to kind of tell Clay that she was talking to somebody else and then all of a sudden to go back and be like, oh, I love you. And he proposed and I'm like, yeah, you were number two. She just wanted to leave here with a husband. Like, I found that to be a little disappointing. And I can tell like she's, mm, she's not too sure about him. And I get it because I'm not too sure about him either. But everybody else, I think, I think everybody else fits together really nicely. Um, Jeremy and I can't remember everybody's names. Is Jeremy the one with like the red hair? The one with the red hair and the Hispanic girl. They are so cute together. And then the other one, the one... See the one that said he had the sleep apnea? Him and the blonde. I like them together. I like that they kind of clash a little bit, but yet they sat and talked it out. 
and I like that. I like that a lot. But this is what we're looking like. Okay, I feel like this color came in and saved the day, but I want to take this just a little step further, and I'm going to grab a Sigma E24 brush, and I'm going to go into this even darker blue shade, and I'm just going to, okay, don't roll on the floor. I'm just going to deepen this outer corner, see if I can, see if I can get a little bit of depth but I will say that this is definitely an entertaining season. I have not watched the other seasons. I only watched the first one and this one's entertaining. I will give it that. I might have to go back and watch the other ones. Is there a season that's really juicy and good that I need to watch? That gave me a little bit of depth. Not a whole, whole lot. Um, I didn't get any fallout. I am going in very lightly and tapping it off. But so far, these other shades are performing nicely. But yeah, let me know. Um, are you a reality show person? Like, I'm, I'm a comfort show person. I'm one of those that I like to watch the same things over and over because I know what the outcome's going to be. I know that how it's going to end. I don't have anxiety. I can still sit and watch Grey's Anatomy and cry over everything. Even though I know it's coming, I can still sit and cry. But I will say I have not watched, I think, the season since the 2020 season. The one where everybody had COVID and, like, Meredith had COVID and she was in and out of consciousness, all of that. Um, I quit after that because... I got tired of them killing everybody off and taking away Meredith's happy ending. And yeah, they should have ended the show right there with that COVID season. Like, I have the perfect ending. So my idea for the perfect ending to that show was that Meredith never woke up. She died from COVID and she ended up happy with Derek in their little, their little world, their little heaven world, whatever you believe in, afterlife, that they live together happily. And so it just kind of fades out with, I guess, her sisters having to make the decision to take her off of life support and her life. Her kids are there. Sad moment. Of course, you have to have that sad moment. We're all going to sit and boo-hoo. But then it goes dark and all of a sudden the lights come on and it goes back to that first scene in the first episode of the entire thing where all the lights come on in the operating room and it's Bailey and she's giving that same speech that Richard gave and in comes Zola and before you see her face all you see is Dr. Gray Shepard and they pan up and the speech is given and the show ends like I have chills I have actual chills thinking of that that would have been perfect but nobody asked me to write the show so okay we are looking good. These two shades have saved the day with this palette, but I'm going to take a little bit. Where's the brush that I used? Here it is. I might regret this. I'm going to take a little bit of that baby blue shade and just disperse it under my lashes. But yeah, so I've kind of, I love the first, I guess up until, I don't even know what season it is, the one where... They have the guy that kidnaps um, Stephanie in the hospital and there's the explosion and then Stephanie leaves that one. The one that really, of course they all do, but I can watch it over and over up until then. And then I'm like, okay, we're done. We're moving on. Like, that's it. Okay, I want to do this shade on the lid and then this one in the inner corner. So I'm going to pop on my NYX glitter primer right here and we're going to put those shades on. But yeah, I love going back and re-watching shows. Like I have watched Friends, gosh, I don't even know how many times I've watched that show now. I could probably, I could lay in bed, so sorry, I could lay in bed with my eyes closed and listen to it and picture perfectly everything that's going on. But I will say that Matthew Perry's like death 
destroyed me and I don't get that way from celebrity deaths like I really don't I'm like oh that sucks that's sad like that's really awful but like his death I don't like it was oh it was tragic because he had finally gotten it together and was in a good place but we're not going to talk about that because I will cry but that show I could watch over and over and over I could watch The Office Parks and Recreation I could watch them all the time. Right now, um, up until I got caught into this love at first sight, I was re-watching House and I had forgotten how much I love that show and I had forgotten about the heartbreaking moments on that show too. Ugh. Like, that's another one where you can just sit and bawl. Which... I think it's good every now and then to just get a good cry out, but I'm that person, so I don't watch a whole lot of new TV. I did watch um, Only Murders in the Building. Oh, I love that show, but I love Steve Martin and Martin Short and Selena Gomez, so casting was the reason I started watching that one. What else did I watch that I really loved? Oh, Ted Lasso. I love that show, too. But I also love Jason Sudeikis, like, yeah. I really like him a lot. I liked him on Saturday Night Live. That, to me, when he was on the show, like him and Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig and, um, I can't think of his name. I can't think of his name. Anyways, that was like one of, other than like the original cast, one of the greatest casts on Saturday Night Live and I will die on that hill. But um, I watched that. I watched Barry. That show was hilarious. And I also really like Shrinking. That's a really good show. That one's got Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford. It's on Apple TV and that's a good one. Okay, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. This is coming together, I will say that. I will say that these other shades are saving this look. But, yeah. So I'm gonna pick this up on a Unearthly UC85 brush and I'm just gonna spray it with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna pop this into my inner corner. Yeah, that's pretty. But, yeah, I don't really keep up with a whole lot of the newer shows. I like to either, like I said, watch stuff that I've already seen a million times, put on in the background while I'm doing things, or I, I'm a reader. I love to read. I absolutely love it. Um, I am working on the Throne of Glass series from Sarah J. Mass, and... <laughs> It's such an intimidating series. Like, if I thought A Court of Thorn and Roses was intimidating, that's got nothing on this. I'm going to go in with my Give Eyeliner in Bath Water. I should know that. In my waterline. But um, I am slowly working through it. I started it a long time ago and read... I think the first two books and then she came out with Assassin's Blade and I was like oh I need to start over. So I am almost done with Assassin's Blade and I'm working on it. It's one of those where I think if I had read it as it was coming out it would have been fine but trying to read it when there's already I think like eight books and they're thick is a bit of an undertaking and it's very what's the word I'm looking for it is very intimidating so I want to finish that and then move on to Crescent City because from what I understand all three series are supposed to come together and create like one one big world so i'm excited for that i did really love a quarter thorn and roses but yeah the last book that one was hard that one was very hard to get through this is really hard to talk and do this 
that one was really hard to get through it was very long i enjoyed it but there was a lot of unnecessary fluff i feel like and while i appreciate her ability to like build a world and like really y'all i read a series with my best friend we started it and it was so bad i can't even remember what it was called like love at sea series or something like that like the first one was married to a pirate and then um something to a siren and then like some like vowed to haiti or no vowed to hades is the next one that hasn't come out yet but something to hercules and it's one of those where you think oh this is gonna be kind of cool and then <laughs> y'all the writing was so bad the world building was non-existent and one minute you're reading it and you're like okay we have a pirate book and then next thing you know we have sirens and you're like okay and then they bring in greek mythology you're like okay i see how that comes together well y'all by the end of the third book we had pirates vikings greek mythology egypt mythology or egyptian mythology norse mythology um we've oh there's something in my eye it's an eyelash we even have mentions of vampires and werewolves which y'all i love a good vampire and werewolf story hang on i have Ooh, yeah i got an eyelash in my eye got it okay whoa have you ever had that happen where like an eyelash gets in your eye and it just immediately you're like oh pain 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 that was me anyways what i was saying was i absolutely love a good like vampire werewolf all the creatures book like i read all of the sticky stack house books before they were a thing i love it i really do i like the twilight books i like all that i'm here for it but this one y'all it's one of those where you read it and you're like i hate this but i need to know where it's going and i need to know if the writing improves or if it just gets worse and it's one of those you read it and you're like oh we have a long trip ahead of us and then two sentences later here we are it's yeah it's awful the dialogue is awful the character names are off like it's it's an awful series if you want to read an awful series there you go but um anyways yeah so i <laughs> My whole point of that was I want to finish the Throne of Glass series and then get into Crescent City series so that I can be ready. But it's an undertaking and I'm trying to stay focused, but it's very discouraging. Um, especially when you have like a huge list of books that you want to read. We are extra glowy, y'all. Like, extra glowy. Yeah, we're extra glowy. I think this is too dark for me I don't know it could be the foundation it could be the combination but let's move on we're gonna do um, highlight real quick y'all I usually set my face before I do mascara and I didn't but we're gonna go in with the highlighter palette from fantasy cosmetica right here and I think we're gonna pop this shade on my cheeks do I need to glow anymore no are we gonna glow some more absolutely but the series that I enjoyed more than the Sarah J Mass is the Fourth Wing series, the Empyrean series. Y'all, if you have read that series, let me know because the ending to the second book was one of those like my best friend that we we read like that's what we do we talk about the books that we're reading and she has not read it yet and i'm like girl i need you to read this because i need to talk to you about it so bad but it was one of those endings i'm not going to give it away that you sit there and you're reading it and you're like i know where this is going like i absolutely know where this is going 
but you don't want it to go there and then you realize nope she's going there she's gonna go there with this and the book ends and you're left with like your jaw on the floor that was how I felt okay so when I ordered the blushes from Patrick Ta I picked up the setting spray as well this is the she's thirsty dewy milk mist I picked this up because Heather Austin was talking about it and it sounded like something that I would be interested in so this says that it is infused with rose hip aloe and green tea extracts this refreshing milky mist revitalizes the skin and leaves a youthful dewy glow do we need any more glow absolutely not are we gonna use this yes but my thought process behind this which this bottle is gorgeous but my thought process behind this was for like some of the matter foundations that I have like um, the new Christian Louboutin or the REM foundation things like that that I could put this over it and kind of bring some life back to it but we are just going to shake her up and we're going to okay very fine mist we're going to spray this on I love a fine mist when I can't feel it going on and I just continue to spray. It's my favorite, but these, gosh, these allergies, <sighs> oh, they're so bad. And y'all, I take an allergy pill. I take allergy drops for my eyes and we're going through it. Like we are going through it here in Texas and it's only March. <laughs> I feel like April is worse, but, um, yeah that looks really nice it feels good i didn't smell anything so that makes me happy i'm just gonna take my <gasps> tati beauty blendiful that i refused to part with and just kind of pat it into the skin but we didn't have it lift or anything like that so that's good no water droplets nothing like that but we're glowy we're shiny we are very glowy, very shiny. I want to throw a lip on really quick. So let me grab a liner. Hmm. I think I just want to do like a nude liner. So I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona. I need a nude liner. Yeah, we're going to hit this on. All right. Let me know. You know, what do you watch? Do you like to read? Do you like to watch books? Uh, TV shows are you a movie person we're movie people as well like me and my boys we are movie people we like to sit down and watch movies I've been we've been watching like older movies and they really enjoy them it's awesome I love it my kids have good taste in movies and music so that's really really awesome we're also big Marvel people as well, but let me know. Let me know what you like to watch, what you like to read, what you're into. Um, if you've read the Empyrean series, what do you think without giving anything away? I'm just going in with the Shine Lip Gloss in Buttercup from the Odin's Eye Judy collection. I really enjoy this. I think it's beautiful. And it looks so, so pretty. So pretty. I love that. All right, y'all. There we go. This was, this was definitely chatty. This is definitely a look. I feel like I'm glowy. I am glowy for sure, but I'm also not mad about it either. Like, I can get into this. That highlight, what beam me up i am ready to meet your leader like i'm here for this i absolutely love it um yeah i'm excited about everything that i tried i will say that these two together 
I don't know. I want to try this under like a more matte foundation and I want to try this without this underneath it. I am going to do a 12 hour wear test with this and I'm going to use the um, concealer at the same time. But I will say my under eyes look really, really nice. I'm not having any settling or crepiness. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. I think the shade match is great. I can't decide if the shade match on the rest of me is from the Glow Booster or the foundation, but we're going to find out when I do that wear test. So I'm excited to keep trying these. That Glow Booster, I don't know. I feel like it's too dark for me, but that's just, that's just me. The Patrick Ta blushes. These are nice. I'm so sad that I have been missing out on this for as long as I have. This is the one that I used and this is beautiful. I, I'm impressed at how much I like this. I really am because I'm not a cream blush person, but it went on so, so nicely. It didn't lift. It didn't patch. <sighs> yeah, it looks really, really nice. I did have some issues with that Natasha Denona palette the bronzer in there and I think it just might be the foundation because the first time I used it I didn't have that issue but you can see like a little bit of patchiness right here where the bronzer is and it kind of you can't see it now because I've got the blush on but like right here it kind of grabbed a little bit so I don't know that's why I don't like to go off of a first impression that's why I like to do speed reviews but I do think all in all this came in and saved the cheeks. Um, the eyeshadow palette. Where did I put the eyeshadow? Here it is. I'm disappointed. Yes, my eye look is beautiful. I will give it that. The blue shade on my lid, it's supposed to be a multi-chrome and it's not super shifty. It's really, really not. Um, as far as a monochromatic blue palette goes for what are these, $27 now or something like that? Um, I think you can do better. Let me, hold on. So first of all, I think that you can do better as far as a monochromatic blue eyeshadow palette goes. Um, I did recently need to get my life together, but like this one from Fantasy Cosmetica, I could probably create just about the same exact look. Maybe not like exact exact but same vibes and ooh, that was weird there's just dry skin but this one is like what $38 or something like that so a little bit like $10 more but you get all these extra shades and I think the quality is better and for I don't even know the price on this one either but this is the Cosmic Beauty Wonder uh, Winter Wonderland palette and it's a blue palette. It's right around the same price as this, but um, why is my lighting? Y'all, I'm having a hard time with lighting, but you get more shades. You also get purples and greens, and the shifts in these multi-chromes are so much better. So while I do love Natasha Denona, I need to keep playing with this because that light blue shade just was not it and this multi-chrome is not multi-chroming for me although the look is beautiful I will give it that it's just it's not my favorite from the brand um the highlighter palette from Fantasy Cosmetica still absolutely loving it I think it's beautiful I love that glow I'm very happy with it um what else did we try that was new or new-ish Oh, the setting spray from Patrick Ta. Obviously, I need to keep trying this out to see how it does with longevity and things like that. But for setting the makeup, I think it did really nice. Um, everything looks beautiful. It locked it. I don't feel sticky or tacky. Um, I couldn't tell you about the glow because we were glowy to begin with. So I will keep testing this out. It doesn't have a smell. If it does, it might be like a very faint rose smell. But... This is it. This is our look using all of these products. What do we think? And what do we think of these products? Um, yeah, we're glowy. I will be extra glowy at the vet, but that is it for this video, y'all. Um, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me, for listening to me yak, for listening to me just chat about things that were on my mind. Let me know, though, seriously, what your thoughts are on my channel idea about the shop my stash idea. 
I would love to know your feedback and if you have any other video ideas of things that you want to see on my channel or you know um, things that you're like nah, I'm, I don't really enjoy that as much let me know I want to know your thoughts I want to make this content that you want to see as much as I want to make so yeah if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button before you leave and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every week, most days if not every single day and lately it has been every single day but I wouldn't want you to miss one. So until my next video, have a good one. Bye.